What's up? This is ENA. We got time. I'm Alex. This is a very special guest we got on the show. Former NFL wow. player. Introduce yourself. Trevon Reed, former Auburn Tiger, four year NFL vet. I right, appreciate appreciate. We're just gonna do a real quick interview with him today. Um, who do you say had the craziest work ethic you've ever had to work with as far as corner slash safety? Cam Chancellor. Yeah. Easy. He, this dude. He non-stop with it. He work out with us, go home, work out with his wife, then go start. He got his own gym that he run. So he working out with every group. Like he got a set of like he got women. He got like three sets of three sets, like a, a seven thirty set, an eight thirty set, and a nine thirty set. He work out with every group on top of working out with us all day playing ball. So it's you know what I'm saying? this one this should be a good one. Who do you think was the most difficult receiver you've ever had to cover? Keenan Allen. Yeah? Easy. Okay. He, got, he probably got the best feet in the NFL. Okay, okay. Um, what corner slash safety do you think influenced you the most throughout your NFL career? Uh, Sherman, uh, Casey Haywood. Uh, it's like a tie. They both taught me a lot. Uh, learned a lot from Sherman because he switched from receiver just like I did in uh, my career. Uh, playing o alongside of Casey. I just learned so much about the game. Like Casey taught me the game. Sherm taught me how to play corner, but Casey taught me the game. So just learning from those two guys. Okay. Um, are you playing for Seattle? How was it playing for Pete Carroll? I love Pete, man. He a players coach. He he do whatever to make his players happy. If it's cutting practice short, thirty minutes to make his players happy, whatever they want, he do it. That's why them guys play for him. Okay. Um. Traveling cross country, played uh, a couple different places: Seattle, Miami, and uh, Chargers. That's a lot of moving around um, in a short period of time. How different and how difficult was it going from place to place? I know um, weather, weather is probably a big thing, right? Uh, the weather, the the pricing, <laughs> the taxes, but the, uh, as far as going to a team, they always make you feel like you're at home. You know, those guys, them boys. You walk into a locker room and not know nobody, but they'll still make you feel like it's brotherhood because that's just how the business works. If you get a guy transfer colleges, you don't know nobody. People are like, man, I ain't gonna mess with him. He might take my spot type deal. The NFL is, man, we we only as strong as our weakest link. We gotta get you up to speed quick so you could be one of us. Because if you get beat, it's gonna say you got beat, but if the score gonna say we got beat, so everybody gotta be on the same page. So, no. One last question. Um, being as uh, the Pro Bowl's about to happen, the votes are getting in, you know, all the uh, stats and stuff. Who, in your opinion, is your offensive player of the year and defensive player? Offensive player of the year, Patrick Mahomes. Patrick Mahomes, y'all heard that. <laughs> uh, defensive player of the year, I mean, they had to give it to. Aaron Donald, Khalil Mack, or the uh, the kid from um, Jackson, the safety from uh, the Bears. Okay. okay. He, he holding it down in the secondary. Right now, man, you lead the league. You got five touchdowns on defense. So uh, it's one of them three. Oh, and Derwin James too. He oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 Derwin yeah, James yeah. having a great season, but for sure, Khalil Mack or Aaron Donald. This is ENA. We got time. I appreciate all subscribers, likes, follow this man. How can people follow you in your upcoming endeavors? Uh, Twitter, Instagram, at Trevon Reed. Get at me. Okay. Bless.